Welcome back for sports. Even though we're in the offseason for high school sports now, the grind doesn't stop for Jordan Dunbar, a Vols Charters tennis star who continues to make some history, which honestly seems to be a trend for the Vikings this past year after winning a couple state championships. Jordan, though, finished the regular season 28 love. Sports reporter Mary Margaret Ellison has her story. Game, set, match. I remember really like the very beginning, like the first lesson probably. I was just like, this is fun. Once I started taking with Coach Francisco, um, I really just, he really just took it to a whole nother level. Jordan Dunbar, a rising senior at a Bulls charter, picked up the game of tennis just five years ago. Jordan came, came here uh, and I, I remember getting a phone call from her, her mom and you know, asking about lessons, uh, I would say about three, four years ago. And uh, maybe maybe five. So many kids have come through, but she's very special. She worked so hard about learning. She was all so passionate about about everything that we were working on. Yes, all the way. I just like to work hard. I, I just like coming out here every day and like seeing results, seeing myself improve, um, like in small ways. And those small ways became significant ways. Since seventh grade, Jordan has never lost a regular season match. Keep it deep. Don't deep. Come on, Jordan. And in her yeah. first year as a high school tennis player, she became the first Viking in school history to win regionals. This past season, she won back to back and competed in the state semifinals. When I first started playing, no, I would have never thought I would win anything, honestly. But um, yeah, but I mean, I really just. I didn't really focus on that. I just kind of took it match by match. Once I got to the semis this year, it's really just a whole nother level. Like it's a whole different like environment. Um, it's just so much fun and I was really lucky to be able to even get there. Even though school is out, there are no soft serves for Jordan as she trains and competes six days a week. We're on that process right now to where we're trying to make her a full tennis player with so many different strokes, not just the forehand and the backhand, but several forehands, several serves. Well, Mondays I come here for clinic from 8 to 10 and then stay after and play till like 12. And the same on Wednesdays. And then I have a lesson with coach uh, after. And then Fridays, same uh, clinic and play after. And then either on Tuesdays or Thursdays, I try to make it to Lafayette because um, they have a little clinic there. As Jordan prepares for her final season in the teal and white, the goal, acing her way to becoming a state champion.